Yes. Let us come back and do one more reaction. In our previous video, what did we do? We have studied the concept of electron withdrawing groups like NO2. When more than number of electron withdrawing groups, it is easy for me to substitute the nucleophile. Remember that. Now let us see one more name reaction. Here also I am going to use sodium hydroxide. That is the reason I have listed out under this. Now in DOS process, I am write the reaction here. I will write the definition here. Okay. Right. In this reaction, in DOS process, first I am going to pick up chlorobenzene. Remember. To this, I am going to use add sodium hydroxide. This whole reaction is going to like it will be made at 360 degrees centigrade. Fine. So now we very well know when I see such reactions, what did we do earlier? I have taken out NaCl and OH minus. Good, nice. But remember, this chlorobenzene before get coming or before forming the final product in between this is going to get converted into an compound called sodium phenoxide i'll explain what this is this is called sodium phenoxide phenoxide stable form phenoxide is a stable form right i'll explain its resonance now in few minutes so sodium phenoxide and then now this NaCl okay fine this NaCl fine right so this NaCl have to go in the next step fine so this when I speak about this NaCl so let me take out this NaCl because I, I want to explain this in the next step let me delete this so yeah now the Cl is done this sodium phenoxide is formed now to this sodium salt we are going to do acidification reaction what is acidification reaction means you're going to add acidification you're acidifying the reaction means you're going to add HCl to this yes to this when you're adding HCl to this observe carefully your NaCl comes out and the OH is going to shift here what product do I get I get phenol I get phenol and NaCl this is your dose reaction how should I write the definition observe carefully I'm starting here when chlorobenzene is treated with sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide at 360 degrees centigrade it forms an stable phenoxide ion and on further acidification means I'm going to add or maintain an acidic medium and further acidification it forms phenol this is a dose process please note it carefully Maybe like in our chemical properties we have uh, done uh, previously all these uh, reactions now let us come back i have in my previous video i've explained you reactions due to the halogen atom which is present in the benzene ring now we are going to study reactions which are related to the benzene ring right halogen atom with sodium hydroxide was done now reactions involving benzene ring and this we have done in grade 11 also so these are called yes what do we call this electrophilic substitution reactions because we're going to introduce the uh, electrophile now as we know in your chlorobenzene yes the most important thing yes chlorobenzene exhibits or it shows resonance and there's a partial double bond also in this compound as we have seen and most important thing is it shows minus i effect when this shows minus i effect what does it do what whichever group comes or it when whichever electrophile comes to this particular position it is directed because of its resonance it is directed to ortho and para positions it is directed to this ortho position and it is directed to the para position let us see now let us see or list out all the electrophilic substitution reactions same like your 11th first 
हेलोजिनेशन रिएक्शन और हेलोजिनेशन रिएक्शन हेलोजिनेशन रिएक्शन अकर्स यस वट वी स्टडी ओके लेट मी लिस्ट आउट ऑल हेलोजिनेशन सल्फोनेशन नाइट्रिएशन फ्रीडल क्राफ्ट फ्रीडल क्राफ्ट एलकाइलेशन फ्रीडल क्राफ्ट Acylation and benzoylation. Yes, fine. So when I speak about halogenation, yes. So first note this, and we'll come back. I need the whole board. 